Great, we finally made it to page 25. <laughs> There's a lot of things that we need to learn that are not at the piano for when we get back to the piano. So what we're going to talk about today are staff and staff lines, okay? What's going to happen is we are now moving into what music actually looks like for musicians, right? So you've learned what the actual musical notes look like and that's great, but they don't just sit in the air like they have been, okay, all this time. We actually use five special lines on which we pop all of our notes, okay? And in piano, we have five lines that will belong to the right hand, okay? And we will have five lines that will belong to the left hand. So altogether, we have 10 lines just because we have both hands and we have so many keys on the piano. Okay, so let's get to the lesson so I can explain to you better what the staff and the staff lines are all about. Okay, so today is very exciting. Today, we get to start page 25. And this is what music looks like from now on. It's what it's always looked like. And what we need is, okay, we have what's called a staff. And the staff is just these five lines that go across, okay? We use these five lines to pop all of our music notes onto, all those special lovely notes that you've been learning so far, these beautiful four notes that we have here. See, the tap notes, the one twos, the long notes, the dotted long notes, the whole notes, all of these are going to start living on this beautiful staff the five lines where we put our music. Now, these five, there's five lines, one, two, three, four, five. This is what they show you on page 25. And these five lines make the four spaces, which they also show you on this beautiful page. It's very easy to understand. If a note has a line cutting through it, like the first picture in number two, notes are written on lines or in spaces, it says. If a note sits so that the whole line is cutting straight through the middle of it, it's called a line note. If the note sits perfectly between the two lines, it's called a space note. Again, not super important. This is just theory, but I thought we'd cover this in case you needed to know any of it. Okay. Welcome back. So how did you go? <laughs> was the staff and the staff lines easy to understand? Hopefully it was super easy. There's nothing tricky about them. It's just how music is going to look from now on. Okay. It's how music always looks to musicians. We have our special five lines and all of our notes are popped onto those five lines. That's it. It's simple. Nothing, you know, super complicated. <laughs> it's just explaining the next well, the rest of the book is going to look like this now. We're going to start using the staff line. So it's really important we understand what uh, what they're for, what it is, what it means. Okay. 